hello guys welcome back to rahmatullah's kitchen if you are returning you're welcome if you're new you're more than welcome to the farm Okay guys, as you can see, today I'm making one of my favorite snacks in Sierra Leone, which is called Bodo or Kuti in Fula. So these are my ingredients. As you can see, I'm showing you my bonga. This is optional. If you want, you can use just the onions. That's for my sauce, basically. And I'm showing you my scotch bonnet, one onion, one fresh tomato, and some sweet pepper, and the cassava itself, isn't it? and the oil and chicken stock and i'm showing you the grater if that's how you call it and the blender so i'm going to show you how to do that okay now we're going to peel the cassava i'm sure if you're from west africa you know what is um border or in sierra leone they call it border i think in guinea conakry they call it kuti it's a cassava snack basically or you can call it cassava cake as you can see I'm just peeling the cassava make sure you peel it very well because if it, um, the skin is on it it will get um, bitter you don't want that so make sure you take out all the skins okay I'm gonna show you two options you can either use the grater if you don't have a blender so that's what I'm showing you at the moment is a hard work trust me if you decide to do that um thumbs up for you So as you can see, I end up using the blender because why not? With the, the grater, it's a hard work for you to grater all that. So if you have the blender, you can go with the blender. So as you can see, I've blend all my cassava. And next, we are going to drain the water out of the cassava. You don't want to leave the water. If not, that is not going to be bottle. It will just be like fufu if you know fufu. So that's what we're going to do next. Now, as you can see, I'm going to transfer my cassava um, into the drainer or the sieve. I'm going to squeeze the water out of the cassava. You don't want to squeeze it too dry, but you want to, you want to make sure there's little water remaining in there. Because you want your, your cassava cake or bodo or kuti, whatever you call it in your language, to crunchy. You don't want it too soft but you don't want it too dry either so that's what i'm doing at the moment so you can see i've done that if you don't have sieve you can use cheese cloth as well as you can see, look at the amount of water that comes of the cassava and now i'm gonna add in salt and you can add it salt to your preference just make sure you don't add too much salt I think I just add a bit of salt in there. Mix it well. And now we're going to form the, um, the shape for the border. You can do it whatever way you like, but this is the authentic way of doing border or kuti or cassava cake whatever you call it so this is how we do it back in africa so i'm gonna show you how to form that it's very easy nothing complicating i'm gonna do the rest of them like that i'm 
okay as you can see all done we're gonna set that aside and prepare uh, for the frying into our pot we're gonna add in the oil you can use whatever oil you want corn oil sunflower oil doesn't matter but whatever oil that you have or you like and now we're going to fry them And guys, if you are new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video to your friends and family. And if you want me to do any kind of video, don't hesitate, leave a comment down below in the description box below. I will get back to you and I will make a delicious recipe for you guys. I'm here for you guys. So whatever suggestion that you have, leave it down in the um, comments down below, please. Yeah. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate all of you guys. As you can see, I'm just flipping it over. By the way, you can add in as much as um, oil that you want. But at this point i think i run out of oil so that's why i don't have much oil in the pot but if you have enough you can add in as much as you like to fry the cassava cake or bottle <laughs> as you can see they are changing in color you want them to brown in golden brown that's what you want you don't want them to pale so as you can see i'm done with that the frying i'm just gonna transfer it into a plate make sure you line it with a um, kitchen roll so that the kitchen roll will soak all the extra oil Okay, next is the sauce. Um, in there, I've blend the, the fish, the onion, the sweet pepper, spring onions, um, scotch bonnet. Everything is in there. I've blend with the tomato. So now we're going to fry it. With the fish, is optional. If you don't have or you don't want to use the fish, the dry fish, which we call back home bunga back home we call it bunga um if you don't have it you don't have to add it but if you have it make um the sauce taste different so it's up to you if you have it um add it if you don't like it don't add it if you don't have it <laughs> if that makes sense now we're gonna add in our chicken stock and mix all together And you want to fry this until the onions and peppers are all cooked as you can see the sauce is ready and this tastes yummy by the way guys <laughs> this is what the makes the cassava cake cassava cake without this there is no cassava cake the sauce trust me guys look at that nice and done and tasty yummy as you can see this is the end product guys look at that if you enjoy this video guys don't forget to like and subscribe share to your friends and family please guys support let's support one another thank you for watching and watch out for my next video bye